So if you go to lightroom.adobe.com after you've bought Lightroom, you have access to this web version of Lightroom, which is very similar to just the, the modern version of Lightroom that, uh, that we looked at. It's a bit even more simplified, but you still have the same buttons here, add, home, my photos, and uh, share. They work the same. Uh, you see, well, you have sync issues, so everything that's in my library still shows up here. Sync issues are files that are actually missing, uh, but the rest are fine, and you can still see the albums here, and I don't want to go through this tutorial. Just choose a quick photo here, and when you're viewing a photo, you can just edit it, click on edit, and you get about the same kind of well, definitely this, the, the settings that are here do the same things. They're again arranged in a bit of a different way. You see split toning has its own section when it was actually in a different place. Black and white is here under color and all these kinds of things. But more or less you have the same thing. And it's all running in the browser, taking off uh, a lot of effort from your computer and just passing it on to Adobe's servers. So you can you can do the same kind of settings here. Uh, go back and export. You can download or you can uh, download the original or the latest version. Uh, and still add comments, see your uh, information, add keywords and stuff like that. Uh, or go back to your library and you can go to different images. So you have a lot of functionality here. Uh, I mean, you can basically edit just the same. And if you need to use something that you don't find here, you need to send this to Photoshop. You need to... Uh, export in a particular manner or bulk export a lot of files at the same time you can then after you're done doing this wherever you are like you can work on any computer as long as you can log on to this website you can come back and open these or ju just open Lightroom the modern version and have everything already synced or synchronize them with Lightroom Classic and then do all the other things that you might need to do so it's very useful when you're working on other computers or when your computer can't can't handle the the processing power of that's required for some stuff uh, and as i said in addition to this you also have uh, lightroom mobile which you get as a package so when you buy lightroom you get lightroom classic lightroom lightroom for web this version here and lightroom mobile all in the same price as it were uh, and Lightroom Mobile again has a lot of these features basically it covers everything that Lightroom for web uh, covers but you can do all of this on a phone or ideally on a tablet uh, with where you even often have better colors so, or better color accuracy so you can evaluate your photos you can even export from a phone and most of the processing again is handled by Adobe servers, so it's and you can um, edit the photos directly that that you take from your phone or that you take with your phone directly in Lightroom and then sync them and have them on your computer. So it's it's very nice to have all of these things work together, and it's nice that they're included in the same package if you need them even for uh, extraordinary cases where you really have to do editing on your phone which is as a practice is, is basically not not the best idea since it's a very small screen and you need to work with details uh, but it's very nice to to have the option so you get all these different versions and everything is tied together with Photoshop so this has been a quick view of what Lightroom can do, hopefully um, it comes in as helpful to you.